the question was very simple suppose there is a building of height 256 meter fine so there is this building the height is 256 meter fine you toss a coin up with some speed okay no problem sure there is a coin which is tossed with some speed say for example you okay from the terrace this coin lands on the ground in 10 times the time taken by it to reach maximum height fine time taken to reach maximum height multiplied by 10 is the time taken to reach on the ground clear so sure. not a problem now what will be the time taken to reach understand this what will be the time taken to reach the maximum height please v is equals to u plus a t am i, am I clear i am naming time maximum height as t h Sure, this implies that time taken to reach the maximum height is clear. Yeah. So, u by g. Fine. Now, what is the time taken by the same to reach the ground? There are two ways you can calculate this time of the whole journey like this or you can calculate the time of this journey because displacement is going to be the same so what i am writing this t ground only t uh, landing i'll write okay instead of writing ground i'll use landing because g may confuse you with this so i'm just writing t landing okay so s is equal to U T minus why because this displacement is done in this direction whereas initial velocity is in this direction plus half G again T L square no doubt fine cool now what has been provided to you is what has been provided to you is that please this tl is 10 times th so can't i write the same equation as 256 equal to minus u ten th okay plus half G again 10 T H square no doubt fine also on the very same line I can also write T H is equal to U by G because you are aware with the value of G is equal to 10 clear so instead of T H I will writing U minus U Again, u by g, g and 10 got cancelled, so u square. Any doubt? Plus half g 100 th u square by g square. Clear? Sure? No doubt? Got cancelled? 5. Clear or not? Now if you look very carefully here, okay, I am just creating an extra space for me. 5 u square minus u square is 4 u square is equals to 256. Am I clear? Sure. Have I done anything wrong? No. Fine. S is equals to ut plus 
half a t square. This half was here. G is here. Clear? So now u square is two fifty six by four. Clear? So that is sixteen by two is equals to u. That is eight meter per second. Simple. So sure. clear. With what speed have you tossed it? You tossed it with eight meter per second. Eight meter per second. So this question could have been lengthier if. You would have taken this path to calculate the total time, but no, you applied the concept of displacement because either it goes this way or this way, the displacement is going to be the same. Fine. See you tomorrow. Have a good day.